at the young lady standing right here in the middle of the band. Don't move. I haven't called you forward yet. <laughs> they then will boost your hands together for Jen Astor! Woo! <laughs> my father left. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got to tell you the story about him. We met, we met Bobby, you know who he is, I'm just going to tell you anyway. We met him about 32 years ago, 34 years ago or something. And, um, we became very, very good friends. And he actually moved into London with me. In the community. He had nowhere to go, so he stayed at my place in London. said, you've got six months. On the day that six months were up, I threw him out. <laughs> no rent, no electricity, no gas, nothing. And no, we stayed friends. That's a joke, by the way, that bit. That's <laughs> true. No, it's not true. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it was your own fault. He started arguing with me. No, he didn't. And um, we stayed friends ever since, and he moved back over to Italy. And it was at the time when Cheryl, Jay, and myself we were just three, and it didn't seem right being three. We needed four members in this band, because that's what everyone likes. We're known as four people. And we know two Bobbies. We didn't want the other Bobby. <laughs> I found Bobby in Italy and I said, Bobby, listen, we need another guy in the band and you are perfect for us. And what did he, what did he say? No. Don't kill my joke. <laughs> kill my joke. And when he came over, he didn't audition for us, he just came as sung as he was perfect and we're so glad he's with us. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Bobby McVeigh! Woo! On my right, the least known member of the band. <laughs> She's actually thinking about taking up a bit of TV. She can't get it. Never on TV or anything like that. She just doesn't do anything like that. So please encourage her to do it. She does need it. She needs no introduction, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for Cheryl Baker! Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm just going to make a little phone call. <clears throat> Do I answer? Yeah. <laughs> hello, can I help you? Oh, hello, is that Nolan, Nolan and Nolan? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh, can I speak? Can I speak to Mr. Nolan, please? I'm sorry, he's out to lunch at the moment. He's out for a couple of hours. In fact, by the time he gets back, he'll be as, as drunk as anything. <laughs> Well, I'd better speak to Mr. Nolan then, please. Ah, there's very bad news there, because he died three months ago. Oh. I'm really, very really upset about that. Oh dear, well, well then, can I speak to Mr. Nolan, please? Speaking. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our little panto elf, Mike Nolan! Thank you, thank you very much. Well, as I said earlier, we're going to be with you for the